Um, now let's look at the different file types that we can see on the mainframe system. The first one comes as the PS file or we call it as a physical sequential file or someone will call it as a flat file as well. And the next comes up is a GDG. It's uh, also called as a generation data group which has the set of versions created and the next is PDS partition data set. As part of a ETL developer or a QA the, this is the first basic thing that you need to understand like where the data is being stored on the mainframe system the data can be stored in a ps file or an gdg file okay these are the two different files where the data will be residing and we also have another file uh, that is a vzam file so where the data is also residing and apart from ps file gdg and vzam we also have a database that is db2 that is external system so where we connect from the mainframe to access the data okay that is a secondary part the primary thing that we need to focus here is uh, physical sequential file and the gdg file and the rest i will be telling a vzam file we can cover it on the later and pds is a partition data set so this is something where we store a record structure we can say record structure to see the actual information of the file uh, it's a raw data uh, whatever the data that is being stored in a ps file or a gdg file it's a raw data when you open this file you cannot see the structure of the each and every record right so further you need to design a structure that structure will be designed in a pds and we call this as a partition data set now let's go ahead and connect to the mainframe system and see what is a physical sequential file how it looks and what is a gdg file and how it looks and also we'll see pds partition data set unlike i said in the previous tutorial the first thing is you need to connect to the mainframe system using a mainframe emulator login with your user id and password and you'll connect it to the main first screen that is ispf panel screen so first i'll be on to the ispf uh, first panel screen so that is a, this is the first screen that i'll be getting at here so in this the first step uh, in order to see the file name so what is the first step that you need to know right so all the file names uh, will be uh, designed so if let me give you some background over here okay i need to give some input here okay when you are accessing a windows right so in windows how the file structure will be the file structure will be like you will be having a different partitions like c drive d drive e drive or anything so first you will be having a d drive let's take an example of the d drive it with followed by forward slash in this uh, let's take like if you have a folder created related to the mainframe so you'll be having a mainframe slash right then you may be having a subfolders created like test right so in this you are storing some file the uh, file related to some orders orders it is a text file so this way uh, you'll be storing the data in the windows environment right if you go to the unix environment so how the data is being stored so here also you'll be having a directory like home uh, slash user slash mainframe slash test slash orders orders.txt right so this is this is the forward slash and that is a backward slash so in the unix and in the same way on the mainframe side so if you want to see if you want to see the data how it gets stored the first thing is we call it as a here here as a qualifiers for example i wanted to store the some sample test data here so let's start with the uh, first will be the your user id so whatever the mainframe id that you are logging in right so that will be your main, uh, mainframe id then followed by so what kind of file name that you are using let me let me take like uh, uh, ps and order so this is my a uh, file uh, structure right so you can see different qualifiers this is qualifier 1 qualifier 2 and everything is separated by dot 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 right so this way you will be having your file name right so like this how many dots you can have up to nine uh, qualifiers you can add it and uh, there are certain constraints that uh, we need to know while designing the file name but as part of the real deliver this is not required since you will be not creating any file so if you want to de have more details uh, as i said in my earlier tutorials i have created a separate playlist showing the mainframe introduction so there you can see the required uh, length what are the parameters and and uh, what 
maximum number of length that you can design for the file names so all these you can see in this so for now so this will be the file structure or standard that we'll be using on the mainframe okay coming back to the mainframe screen so as i said so this will be the isp of primary option screen so here so here you can see all the different settings and everything so in order to access uh, in order to see the file a ps file that is a physical sequential the first thing is option is i need to select an option three that you are seeing that three utilities and in this uh, you can see the different uh, names like library data set move copy data set and everything so first thing is i need to see the data set list right select four and enter right so here i'll be entering the file name so my file name was uh, matev.ps.order dot order okay or uh, let me check this mm okay order one order one was the file name okay let me go back i'll see you again uh, i'll show you again so three again four okay so here ps dot o r d e r one right so you can see that the particular file name is showing here so when i enter this as soon as I enter the file name of 3.4 so 3.4 so you can see the file name here right so this way this is called as a file uh, physical sequential file right how can i open this file right just click on type a b beside this and press enter you can see the data inside the file so when you see this data you cannot understand what actually these data is this right so for this what you need to do is so we have a separate file format that is so I'll, I'll tell you what is what is that so if i want to go back to the previous screen how what is that we need to exit so f3 f3 to exit f3 and again f3 and again f3 so again press f3 so you're back to the home screen right so that is about the physical sequential file now let me show you uh, the partition data set so where uh, when we are open when we have opened this particular uh, file so you can just see that there's a raw data but actually you need to have a record structure that is created so where do we create the record structure 3 dot 4 and here test dot copy okay copy lib okay so this is called as a partition data set so here again i will click place b to browse and inside this you can see a member this is called as a member name so here when i click here again browse so this will be the structure of that particular physical sequential side so you can see the order id customer id it's a five bytes five bytes uh, or year four month and day so we will talk in detail in detail about this what is copy book how we can understand this what is the length and structure and everything but for now you need to understand like what are the different kinds of files we have one is physical sequential file where the actual data resides and another is a pds so which where we will be having an actual record of the physical sequential file so that we can map this and understand the data fields where it is starting and ending okay again to go back press f3 press f3 and press f3 and again press f3 and again press f3 to come back to the isp primary option screen now let's talk about the gdg right again uh, either you can go as 3.3.3.4 or 3 again 4 okay which one is better so 3.4 is better right this is the fastest way to go okay so now i'll be showing you another one that is called as gdg so how the gdg looks okay so when i say gdg so you can see the volume as question mark question mark and all those things and with a little with a different version gdg dot version so this is like a, a a file which maintains different version ps file will not have any versions so why do we maintain this what is the exact difference between gdg and the ps file is suppose you are getting a day weekly data uh, like from monday to friday a daily transactions daily uh, transactions or processing and i wanted to see the complete five days information so in that case we will be creating a gdg and it will have a set of versions so it has only one version but today if you are if you get to receive another file so it will be generated with two version but the base file name will be the same 
but the generation will be different this is also similar to a ps file but the only thing is so you have a base with set of versions created and how do we access this uh, gdg file in the same way like a ps file just type b you'll be browsing it okay so with that said so so what are the different uh, kinds of files that we can see on the mainframe one is physical sequential file gdg generation data group and other is a, a partition data set file thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel so please do subscribe comment or share thanks a lot